Hello everyone, my name is Luigi Pingara, I'm a photographer, graphic designer and sometimes I'm a filmmaker. And in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to export uh, a video file ready to burn on a DVD video disc in Adobe Premiere CS3. And I'm using Adobe Premiere Pro CS3 because you can export video files as MPEG2, uh, the format for DVD video with the newer versions however you need a codec first and CS3 has one built in so we're going to create a new project first and since I live in Australia I'm going to choose under available presets DV PAL widescreen 48 kilohertz if I lived in America I would choose under DV NTSC widescreen 48 kilohertz but for now I'll stick for this uh, let's create something let's give it a name DVD movie so I just want to uh, lead your attention here to this little box. Editing mode is DV power. Time base is 25 frames per second. If I lived in America, it would be 29.99, 30 frames per second. But here is what we want to know. 720 height by 576 vertical of the frame size. And the picture aspect ratio is D1 slash DV power widescreen 16.9. Now this is important because DVD video is not high definition. It's not 720p, no matter what the numbers say, or 1080p. It's always a variation of these two numbers, 720 by 576, in either widescreen or standard. It's just the way DVD video format is. So and uh, once we've done that we press OK and we let Premiere Pro do its thing and we've let's import a video file so file import and I'm gonna import something I shot in Sicily now let's preview this as we can see there's a file and let's drag this onto our timeline and what we can see, if we zoom out a little bit, it just seems that our the video file is zoomed in compared to its preview. Now this is because this particular clip is about 1080 HD. And since because of the um, traditions of DVD video format, it appears larger. So we can fix it by clicking on the clip right click go to scale frame size and now if we center it we can see that our 1080 HD video is now conforming to the size of a widescreen DVD video format so once we're happy with that we click on the sequence make sure this orange box is selected and we go to file export Adobe Media Encoder and we click that and we come up with this dialog click on output to uh, see what we've created so the format we're going to choose MPEG2 DVD not MPEG2 MPEG2 DVD and let's look at these video settings quality 5 TV standard power because I live in Australia of course if you live in America it's NTSC the frame width is 720, frame height is 576, that's good. Frame rate 25 frames per second, field order will keep it at lower, and pixel aspect ratio will keep at widescreen 16.9. Otherwise, it's going to uh, give us some pillar boxing. We keep bitrate settings and GOP settings fine for now, but we go to audio, and for audio format, we must select PCM. This is because we want to split this video file into two parts a video component and an audio component so basically we're make, exporting two different files so when we go into an authoring program like Adobe on Core we can uh, put the video file on one track and the audio on another track and this will make us easier to author the DVD and if we choose to add any director's commentary or any other languages we can do that once again, it's one of the peculiarities of the DVD video format. So, once everything is set up, 
everything's ready to go let's press OK and let's specify specify a place to save this let's save this on a desktop for now and let's call this Sicily movie film press save and this is the point that we go and have a coffee and it all depends or how long it takes to export all depends on the length of your movie and if you've done any intense effects visual effects or transitions any something like that okay let's open up Windows Explorer and see what we've created let's go to desktop and if we scroll down we can see we've got two files a movie clip file and this waveform sound file and this is exactly what we want we want to spl split our movie up into a visual component and an audio component and if we preview it this video track should have zero audio and it should conform to the specifications the size of a DVD video format Well, that's it. That is how you export a video file uh, to burn on a DVD, the MPEG-2 DVD format, uh, from an HD video within Adobe Premiere CS3. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you, and if it has, please share this video with your friends on social media so we can all help each other out. Thank you for watching.